Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial, and today it's on the plugin survival games. So this has been highly requested by lots of subscribers, and I've finally got them around to doing it. So this plugin is made by WhatsUp92, and uh, you can purchase it from Spigot. I will leave a link in the description. And this is definitely the best survival games plugin around. It's got everything, chests, signs, leaderboards, GUI shop, kits, and much, much more. And it's all configurable. So I'm going to show you how to set it up in game, how to do the signs, and then we're going to hop into the config and show you how to edit um, about seven config files, um, which is quite a lot. So first of all, we're going to want to grab our SG wand by using that command. And now we're going to want to fly up to the top left-hand corner of our, our arena and just left-click. There we go. Similar to world edit. So if you use world edit, you'll know how it works. And then we're going to fly over down here and just right click somewhere um, low so let's go over here and just right click there we go simple as that now we need to do the command sg create followed by the name of the arena which is going to be youtube uh, the minimum amount of players and then the max and the cool thing about this is it can actually be changed um, so i'll show you how to do that later but uh, as you can see, it's found 36 chests in this area and two ender chests, which is cool. As there's a tier system within the chest. So ender chest here and actually I'll move that so it's easier to get to. Let's uh, put a couple here. And you're probably thinking, will these work? Well, they won't because um, the plugin hasn't detected them. So we can actually do a command. If you do SG admin, we can update chests in this particular arena. SG update chests. In the arena YouTube and hopefully it should find um, five ender chests instead of only two so that's really really nice so we can get rid of that one now we don't need that anymore and while we're in the lobby we can do SG set global lobby very very simple now we need to set some spawns so the spawn points have got to be at the max number of players or more than the max number of players so we set it as four so let's do it as four so add spawn um, and then the arena name, so very, very easy. Uh, YouTube. So make sure you actually spell it right um, and don't put a hashtag. So let me set four spawn points. We will spawn at one of them. There we go, and one more. Here we are there. Nice. So if I fly back up here, um, there's a couple more things we need to do. It's G admin. Um, if you use a holographic plugin, you don't have to use it, it's optional, but uh, hollow stats will appear if you do SG set hollow stats. And uh, that's where it will spawn here, which is uh, pretty cool. Now, the final thing we do is deathmatch. So you can either set this um, in the spawn points or a custom arena, maybe underground somewhere. But I'm just going to do SG add deathmatch, and this is where the players will spawn. Um, when there's a certain amount of players left. So you can set this to maybe two players, three players, four, depending on how many people are in your arena. Now finally, we need to do the signs. So um, there's quite a few we need to do. So first of all, there is the auto join sign, pretty simple. SG auto join and no specific arena. Then we need to do the stat sign. So if we do uh, SG on the first line in square brackets, stats on the second line, like that. And the, um, the join sign for a particular arena, very, very straightforward. Join and then uh, the arena name, which is actually YouTube, isn't it? So let me do that now. Nice. And it will say the max number of players available. Um, and now we have the top signs with head above, which is really cool. So you can just grab a player's head like that. And you can uh, do either wins or kills. So I'll show you how to do both. So SG on the top line top wins or kills on the third line so let's do wins and either first second third fourth fifth depending on how many of these you want so second um, and it will update after a amount of seconds and let's show you a kill one as well so let you top kills and second um, should that should have worked uh sg top oh dear spelling error top kills and then second um, I think I've already got one over here yeah so um, that's how you do that and LT Gym is second and my other account is first 
So yeah, that's how you do that. Now, um, let me just show you some more of the commands. Um, there is SG coins. Now you can add uh, coins to a particular player's um, account if they maybe donated or something, or you can take them away. And very very simple. So SG um, without anything else shows you um, the player commands. So let's go into the game now. And here we go. We've got the kit menu. So um, if there's VIP kits, we could purchase more. Or if we donated, we would get access to these. But here are the kits by default. So let's just grab um, Archer. So this is what we will start with. Now if we go uh, into the shop by right clicking the emerald, there are all of these bits and bobs that we can buy. And obviously you get coins by killing people and winning. So we could grab TNT maybe, and XP, bread, just whatever you want really. Um, and it, as I said, it is made by wasup 92 So well done to him for making this awesome plugin. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get my other account to join now by uh, clicking the sign and it will start in 30 seconds. So here we are, we have received the kit archer and the um, the items we purchased in the shop. And uh, really cool thing is there is coloured armour, which um, is such a nice feature. Now I, if I try to shoot my other account, I can't because of the grace period obviously. Um, and we also get a tracking um, compass, so it tells us where people are, very very nice. And as you can see here, um, there is different things spawning. So you can customize this in the config. So we'll go through that. Time set zero. And if we go into the ender chest, which is the tier two chest, this will give us slightly better stuff. Well, it should do anyway if you configure it like that. And here is a care package. So um, this is a really nice feature. If you pop it down somewhere, it will start a countdown from 10 seconds. Boom. Um, and then it will appear and give you some items. So this would be really useful if you're running out of food maybe or something. Um, so as you can see there is Ender um, XP bottles so you could put um, an enchanting table as long as you've got Lapis Lazuli because obviously with the new update you need it. And this plugin does work with 1.8 which is uh, very very good. Um, so I think that is most of the things in game. You can um, obviously place TNT, but it won't do damage. And I think you might be able to turn block damage on, so you can uh, destroy blocks, but then it rebuilds after the arena has finished. And once you do win, fireworks, which is nice, and you get this map that says congratulations for winning. And it says you've earned 100 points for winning, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I think there is permissions, yes there is, you can give them a modifier that gives them say 10 times XP or 4 times XP or 2. Um, yeah, there's lots of different ones. And uh, depending on the do donator rank. So if I hit stats, I've got 2 wins, that's my KDR, there are my coins, etc. So yeah, very very cool. Um, those signs will update soon hopefully. So now we're going to go into the config files and show you how to mess about with them correctly. So here we are in the plugins folder and if we go into survival games we see these nine um, different config files. So let's start at the top and this is the arena files. So this is where it saves all the data about the arenas. So um, the cool thing about this is you can edit uh, these values up here. So you can change min max players, disable it, um, various different times of deathmatch and other bits and bobs. Uh, you can also do this in game using a cool GUI. Uh, I believe the commands for slash SG edit followed by the arena name and you can use um, green and red uh, panes to change the values going up by one or down by one each time. But if you want to change the game time um, which is 1200 by default um, that would take a long time so it's best to do it in the config you can change it to 2000 or 400 or whatever you want. So um, that's pretty straightforward. Let's hop into the chest file next. Now, um, this is pretty cool. You can set what could appear in a care package and all the items that could appear in the tier one chest as well as the tier two chest. So that is pretty cool. Um, very simple to do. Um, so I'll, sh I'll show an example. So if you go down the line, put a hyphen, uh, a space, then an apostrophe. Now you, you choose the item ID, so 267, I think that's a sword, 
Um, colon, we only want um, one of them. And then if you do a space, followed by another colon, uh, and then another space, you can um, add lots of bit, bits and bobs like enchant, name, law. So let's add all of these, uh, which will be pretty cool. So enchant, um, there is loads of enchantments. I'll try and find a link to a list of all of them. But um, damage underscore all, I believe is um, sharpness. So um, yes, it is. It's up here. Good. Uh, and we're going to do sharpness four. So space again, colon, and then we can add a name. And this can use color codes as well. So um, let's do that now. Custom sword. And finally, um, we can add a law. So colon law colon um, and then just whatever you want the law to be. So and A or C um, custom sort. Nice. And then you can end with a, an apostrophe like that. Um, so another cool thing is you can add uh, durability to it. So maybe if it was a diamond sword you could set it really low but really powerful maybe you could only use it once or twice. Um, so if you set a durability at like one or four, four they won't be able to use it very much. Um, so that is how you do various different items. You can remove items, add more, um, change the amount. So that's very configurable. Really like this plugin. Um, and what is that green? That's just Camtasia. Okay. Now into the main config. So uh, this is pretty straightforward. Um, you can change how many coins players get, and then obviously you can change um, how much things cost in the shop. Um, you can change inventory sizes. Um, this is all very straightforward. You can change colors and allowed commands. So um, all of these, pretty straightforward. You'd want to allow them. Um, maybe you'd want to allow balance, something. And um, if you've got maybe a particle plugin, I don't know, you could add as many commands there as you wanted, and breakable blocks. So um, this is pretty interesting. Um, you could tell players which blocks are breakable, such as grass or something. And uh, here is the global lobby and the hollow stats that we set earlier. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Let's go into, um, into the next file, kits. So, um, as you know, we, um, we chose kits and these were the ones that we could have chosen. So, uh, if you want to make a new kit, you can obviously copy one of these. This is the easiest way to do it. Um, hit enter and then backspace and then paste it. So, first of all, you're going to want to um, change the name and permission. Yes, this is going to require permission because it's for donator and uh, buyable false, um, because it's for donators, obviously. Um, and now you can change the armor, which is uh, pretty cool. So what's diamond armor? 311, maybe? I think that's a diamond helmet uh, description. Um, you can change this whatever you want. So six, thanks for supporting the server. Something along those lines, that's nice. Uh, items. Very similar to the um, previous config file. You can just change this to 267, blah, 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 add enchants, etc. And you can add potion effects here as well. Uh, I don't actually have a list of these, um, but uh, there is a list here at this web address. So you can go there and check them out, which is uh, pretty cool. And yeah, um, everything else is pretty self explanatory. Potion effect, here we go. So uh, we can borrow this um, and get rid of that, put it down below, paste it. There we go. So you can add multiple um, if you do it correctly. And this is going to be uh, what's another potion? It's poison, for example. You wouldn't want to add that to a donator kit, but you know. And 9 and 9, that's the time. Um, and obviously, 4 is the, um, the strength of it. So 1. That would be very fast. Four would be very fast. So let me close this down and messages. So this is pretty straightforward. You can, I'd, I'd leave this alone if I were you. Um, 
but yeah, and there's also scoreboards and you can change colors and whatnot. That's brilliant. Now we go into players. I uh, wouldn't suggest messing with this unless you want to manually change someone's coin or kills and deaths. So um, I have 999 kills and one death. That's pretty good KD ratio. And we're getting there. Um, we've only got a couple more to do. Signs, this is really awesome. So you can actually change the color on the signs, um, which is really cool. So you can uh, mix it up a bit. So instead of survival games, it could be um, gym game games, um, which is a, a very famous television show. <laughs> it's not, but uh, sponsor. So um, if you've watched the Hunger Games films, there is sponsors in there, and this works in a similar way. And obviously, you can create more and add uh, different different weapons and items using the same method as the other config files. So that's cool. So let's uh, close that and go into the final config file, which is the shop. And in here, uh, we have all the things people can buy. Let's add another one. So um, this is going to be. 267 again, and there's only going to be one of it. And um, the price is going to be 99, like so. And obviously, then you can do space, colon, uh, enchant, damage, underscore all. Should probably be in capitals, but it might not matter. Um, name, blah blah blah, B, sword. And you can do a law. Is that purple? Might be. And there we go. That's uh, that's how you do that. So overall, it's a brilliant plugin. You can customize everything. Would recommend it 100% if you want a survival games plugin. Uh, as as I say, you can get it from Spigot. So just create an account first, and then you can buy it and download it. And uh, yeah.